Welcome everyone, this is Mind Blaster. Um, I had a request to do a video on the coronavirus and my thoughts about it, if I have any suspicions about uh, alternative agenda, etc. So this is just my opinion, this is my theory, so um, I just wanted to say that up front. Um, and thank you for the request. So I want to start this off with uh, something called Event 201. Now, Event 201 is right here. I'm going to post the links down below for all this stuff I'm showing you guys, okay? So Event 201 says here, The John Hopkins Center for Health Security in partnership with the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation hosted Event 201 a high-level pandemic exercise on October 18th, 2019, in New York, New York. The exercise illustrated areas where public-slash-private partnerships will be necessary during the response to a severe pandemic in order to diminish large-scale economic and societal consequences. Now, I don't want to read all of this, but I want to give you uh, one of the main points here. So they ran this exercise and this was behind closed door doors from what i understand um and it ended up this exercise ended up killing 65 million people um so i find that very odd especially with the date that being october 18th 2019 just months prior to the coronavirus and the uh, pandemic that they ran was using a coronavirus as the the virus that they were using in this uh, exercise. Now, um, I think that could possibly correlate with depopulation. That's just another theory, but it goes with uh, the Georgia Guidestones, if you're not familiar with them. I'll read you a little uh, bit here. The Georgia Guidestones are a granite, granite monument erected in 1980 in Elbert County, Georgia, in the United States. A set of 10 guidelines is inscribed on the structure in eight modern languages, and a shorter message is inscribed at the top of the structure in four ancient language scripts. Now, um, the one of the main points of that is I want to show you here. And I, this is from zmescience.com. Like I said, I'll be posting the links below. Now it says here, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Very weird, especially with what's going on. Um, now, I have some other things here that I wanted to uh, talk about. And that is, this whole thing with the uh, coronavirus, I think that uh, that being the higher up slash elites, Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, have a agenda to um, take all of our rights away, per se. That being um, mandatory health uh, procedures, etc. Put us with an RFID trip, that uh, chip meaning like the mark of the beast. And look at this uh, meme that I found online. This is what I think is going on. So it says here, FEMA, Walmart, and excuse me, let me close this here. Uh, scroll down here, it says mandatory vaccine RFID chip. I think that is the big picture for this whole thing. Uh, maybe not this coronavirus in a sense, but I think that that's the ultimate goal. And this is just a segue into that. And then also, if you look at this picture, it says food, supplies, like you have to get all this stuff done before they'll give you anything. Scroll up towards the top and you have a shipment container that says UN on it, United Nations coming in here and it looks like a prison here now um this correlates with that denmark rushes through emergency coronavirus law 
Now this law says here, this was posted March 13, 2020. Denmark's parliament on Thursday night unanimously passed an emergency coronavirus law which gives health authorities powers to force, look at, see this here, powers to force testing, treatment, and quarantine with the backing of the police. Now, that's mandatory vaccination right there. And we don't know what's in these vaccines, okay? Now, another thing. Um, let's see here. I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, if you haven't been to this um, website here, I'll post the link down below. This is a, a lot, supposedly a live info of the coronavirus, that being infected, deaths, recovered. Now, if let me get my, we scroll down here. Now, remember, this started in Wuhan, China. Now, mainland China, if you notice here, they... They had roughly, I think it was 80,800 confirmed cases. Notice how that has stopped and their deaths has stopped. And if it has gone up, it's been minimal. Look at how many they have recovered, 84.8%, okay? How is it that China is recovering from this yet everyone else, that being Italy, Iran, the U.S., we're just getting it worse and worse. Their death rate was 4%. Italy's right now is 7.9% with only 9% recovered. It's also a theory of mine that with this trade deal between the U.S. and China, that China was, uh, they took the deal as in they were forced into it and they weren't happy with it. This is just a theory, mind you. They weren't happy with it, so they unleashed this virus and it killed some of their citizens, but they used that and unleashed it on the world so that the economy of the U.S. and or everyone else would be destroyed and they could take over and be the highest uh, superpower in the world. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because this 84.8% recovered. How did they, or how are they curing or fixing these people, yet nobody else knows how to do it? I just find it very odd. And um, so that's my kind of outlook on this whole thing. Uh, I could be completely wrong, but... I'm here in the U.S., and uh, I recommend getting your supplies of food and water, medical supplies, and having a firearm just to be safe. Anyways, thank you, everyone.